Shalom. Before our sermon, give all praises to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rachachurash, the honors to the elders and apostles, great millstone, peace, blessings, and salutations to all the elect Akim, walk with him, learning, teaching, and truth and sincerity. All right, and the brother from uh, Hawaii, the elder brother uh, Yahuda, he had just did this video dealing with this Canadian, as it says, a Canadian uh, member of parliament, uh, MP was literally caught walking around butt naked when he's supposed to be on an important Zoom call, you know, so the brother was just, you know, poking fun at it, and I came across this clip last night, you know, one, hey, just, you know, trailing behind the brother, here it is, these people are supposed to be at the top of the world, they don't know the difference between a pistol and a taser, you know, they don't, <laughs> they don't know if they naked or not, and I came across this clip last night, we're going to scroll down. We're going to let it play. The guy accidentally. And it's, uh, it's a minute long. So we're going to let this play, you know, not too long of a video and get a scripture or two. You know, these people, they are the basis of men. They're not fit for rulership, which is why the world is out of course. All right. You wonder why people are so weird and do weird ass, goofy, even our people, even our own. You know, I, mean, I remember one time, y'all, man, hey, you know, because I, I did sports in high school, man, I was in the locker room. Man, a, a high school locker room has to be one of the gay, uh, no, a, a boy's high school locker room has to be one of the gayest places on earth. You know, a dude literally popped out and took his thing and was just swinging it in circles. You know, just absolutely just crazy, man. I remember, man, I, I made, hey, when I was in the locker room, I hurried up, got it in chains, got the fuck out. You know, because this society has a weird little vibe on it. I'm going to get this scripture real quick. All right. We, the, the, the spirit that is on the rulers is the spirit that is on the people so you have these people that are cracked out and coked out why because the people at the tops of society do crack cocaine all right you wonder why people are so weird because the people at the top of society are weird all right these edomites are weirdos where does it see uh okay i want verse two yep sarat two and something slakia sarat ten and two it says as the judge of the people Slakia, as the judge of the people is himself, so are his officers. And what manner the ruler of the city is, such are all they that dwell therein. So how, however the leaders act, behave, think, and associate is how the people do. And what do you see? A bunch of vain, drug addict, crazy, weirdo, uh, atheist, murderers, and adulterers in the world. Because that's what the people at the top of society are. Alright, so let's let this play. ...shot by an FBI agent doing a backflip is speaking out today. Oh. I heard a loud bang, and I thought, oh, some idiot set off a firecracker. 24-year-old Tom Reddington was hit in the leg at a Denver dance club. All of a sudden, my, from the knee down, became completely red. And that's when it clicked in my head. Oh, I've been shot. The 29-year-old FBI agent identified as Chase Bishop was showing off his dance moves when his gun fell out of his waistband. When he went to retrieve the weapon, it went off. Bishop gave a big... Look at that, man. Hey, this dude, this devil... Okay, look. When he wants to do good, he causes damage to the earth. You know, he wanted to provide tra transportation. He created vehicles. They pollute the earth. He wanted to <laughs> come up with... You know, these different forms of food, which is GMOs, to make sure everybody can eat. Turns out it's destroying your fucking body. This man can't even, you know, the the, the, the fucker couldn't dance. You know, the, the nigga was lame. You, you can see him, you, you know, the nigga lame. Here it is. When this devil even tries to have some fun, it results in, in bloodshed, you know, literally. So this man, he just can't, this guy cannot be in power. He can't even, he can't even dance right, y'all. When he dances, you might die. Let alone when he actually wants you dead. So when this man is actually blood hunting for you, you are going to die. But this man's folly, a bribe, a byproduct of his folly could be your fucking death. He shot the dude, man. Then he going, he, look, he picked shrug the gun back up, shrug. He's like, Redding oh shit, my bad it. guys. You know, meanwhile, the other dude just took a damn uh, bullet to the leg, you know, and, and there wouldn't be no, uh, man, that my uh had to limp my way over to dog. All right. And dog would have some explaining to do. You shoot me off some off, <laughs> off some dummy shit like that. You know, now you got to take time off work. You got to take time to heal. 
you know, hey, you got to pray it didn't hit a fucking bone. Now you're going to be different for the rest of your life. All because of some fucker wanted to do a back. Amazon told ABC News he forgives the agent. Shit there flew no out. Pointing, there was Boom. No you know? I don't blame That's the guy. Drunk, I don't shit. want to ruin his life. The FBI says it will hold the agent accountable for what happened. Yeah, right. You see them bitches they have their mouth open. Yeah, that's a that's a gun. That was a gun. Life. Those are the bullets. FBI that's what bullets do. They hit things, you know. This man, hey y'all, he can't let, let me let me get this. This the earth is cursed as long as he's on the rulership of it. I just want to go to Genesis four. Let me see. Uh let me see. Uh we have that. Okay, you know what? I may go to I may go to, uh, let me see, where is that? Let me find it real quick. Okay, you know what, actually, I'm going to just go to Genesis 25, dealing with, uh, or is it 27, dealing with this man's blessing, I believe 27, actually. Because basically everywhere he goes, all he can do is cause bloodshed, all right? Genesis 27, and, yep, verse 40. And by thy sword shalt thou live, and shalt serve thy brother, and it shall come and pass when thou shalt have the dominion that thou that thou shalt break his yoke from off thy neck dealing with the top part by his sword shall he live all right this man everywhere he goes he causes death and destruction and he can literally not help it death and destruction is is the byproduct of esau's edom's existence he cannot uh call he couldn't stop causing problems on this planet if he didn't if he wanted to if this man said okay you know look y'all we're gonna have one day on planet earth don't nobody die you know no murder no theft you know we're gonna shut Wall Street down for a day. We're going to stop stealing your money. We're going to cancel taxes for the day. We're going to let you get your full paycheck today. You know, they just went down the whole list of everything that they're going to try to do. Would not, nothing change. People will still end up dead. People will still end up homeless. People will still end up somehow getting taxes taken out their check. All right. All that this man can do is cause destruction in, in this earth. And, you know, and this is just a little clip. Oh, man, you just, you know, a scoffer. Man, you just tripping. You just looking too deep. No, they're saying I'm not looking too deep into nothing. These are the fuckers that have the rulership over you, and they can accidentally kill you and just get away with it. Uh, uh, and the proof of that, you go to, uh, where is that? You go to this clip right here. This clip right here. How could a veteran cop, <laughs> God damn it! it says, how could a veteran cop mistake their gun for a taser? You know, here it is. These people are supposed to be trained to deal with life and death situations. You know, and they have the ability and authority to take your life, and they don't. They don't even know what da what daggone tool they hold in their damn hand. You know, here I just want to come back to the picture. Let it wait a second. Right there, boom. You know, one one big and yellow, and lightweight. The other is small, black, and heavy. They don't even know. They don't even know what they're reaching for now. But once again, these are the people uh, at the top. You know, so let's get it. And if this world wasn't wicked, you know, let's get this. Uh, You know, it's just obvious he's not fit for rulership, y'all. Dog couldn't dance, no how, no way. He should have stayed grounded. I don't know what he what, what made him think going airborne <laughs> was going to get him some box that night. All right, Proverbs 29 2, it says, When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked beareth rule, the people mourn. And we see that in the world. Everyone's riding in an uproar and beating the shit out of each other. People stealing from each other, robbing each other. You know, yo, damn, you, you, you. you. You got a nigga in your wife DMs, you know. That's all that's in this world is pain and suffering. And this man is at the top of it. And his red hands is holding life and death. And he don't know which one is which, you know. Oh, as, um, as a matter of fact, we'll go back to that Genesis 4 for a second to get something. Um, or is it 3? Yeah, maybe 3. Let me see. Salakia, y'all. Oh, you know what? Send light at the door. So like it's not four. I believe it's uh three. I know I'm looking right at it. So like y'all, basically this man, all all he all he can do is evil, and he can't help it. Here we gonna we gonna speed this process up. Y'all know how it go, y'all. Okay, it is four. Uh, Genesis four and seven. If thou doest well, shalt thou not be accepted? And if thou doest not well, sin lieth at the door, and unto thee shall be his desire, and thou shalt have rule over him. 
So this man Esau Edom, he his DNA is intertwined with sin, with wickedness. He couldn't do good if he wanted to. All right, because we understand that Cain would go on, uh, the spirit that is in Cain would go on to be the spirit of Esau Edom. This man can't just have a normal day if he wants to. He's going to end up accidentally just killing an Israelite. He's going to end up just accidentally causing an oil spill. He's going to accidentally just throw out some space trash. You know, hey, this man has to be removed out of the earth. He is hurting every day that Esau Edom, that their people are in rulership, is another day that the earth is in pain and suffering because he is not fit to rule this place at all under no circumstance he is simply the nation that the heavenly father set up for a time to punish us the israelites you so-called negroes latinos and native americans but that time is coming to a very quick close right here and we'll close by the decree of the watchers and the demand and the demand by the word of the holy ones to the intent that the living may know that the most high ruleth in the kingdom of men and giveth it to whomsoever he will and setteth up over it the basest of men all right and this is we're seeing this man's baseness he don't know he don't know his colors no more you know he doesn't know when you know here it is and he doesn't know that standing on your neck with your with his kneecap for nine minutes could potentially kill you you know he doesn't realize that dumping stuff in the ocean maybe isn't a smart idea you know and maybe we shouldn't feed people fake food Maybe we shouldn't pollute the air we have to breathe. He doesn't know. He's the basis of men. And he was simply set up for a time, but he's about to fall. All right. So I'm going to give all praises to, Yah to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rechach Rash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all the elect Akim, Wak Wathim, learning and teaching the truth and sincerity. I'm going to say Shalom.